Hi there, folks. My name is Elliot Kimmel, and I am a teacher at Central Secondary School in London, Ontario. And this is a brief optics tutorial on some topics in the optics strand recommended for students in grade 10 science. Before viewing the tutorial, I would like to ask students to assemble note paper, a ruler, pencil, the textbook, which is the textbook for the course, Science Perspectives 10, the small diagram handout I gave last class, which has a dot and a mirror and the eye. There should be two pictures on that little page and your protractor. And the idea would be while you're viewing the video tutorial to be working along, uh, drawing some diagrams that I indicate, taking some notes, and if there's a teacher supervising you while you watch this, if you're in class perhaps, if that teacher could pause the video frequently and allow you enough time to uh, draw the various things or take notes, uh, you'll have to do that throughout the video. So there are three parts to this. The first part is called locating an image in a plane mirror and we already did some of this in class. There's a picture in your textbook. It's figure 8 on page 491 in Science Perspectives 10 and what you can see here is there is a pen right here and this structure represents the mirror. So there's a mirror right here. That's an M for mirror and this is the object and we want to be able to figure out where the image is. Now this of course is a plane mirror, right? So the way that this works is you draw lines using your ruler exactly perpendicular to the mirror and you measure the distance of this line and this is a solid line and then you use dashed or dotted lines behind the mirror and that is where you would form you know this top part of the image if the top part of the object is used to draw the line the top part of the image would be here and basically what you do is you choose a number of points you decide where you want them to be and you draw the solid lines from there so recall from class what we did is we just had something like an arrow here all right and you drew a solid line from the arrow head and the arrow tail and then you dotted it behind the same distance as it was in front well here you're drawing a pen instead and you know in this example they use four uh, four lines you don't have to use that many you could use three or whatever what I would like you to do is to take a few moments and you're going to draw a diagram of a pen. I realize your pen may look a little bit different in your notes than this one. That's okay. Whatever you draw as an object, you're going to draw as an image. So you go ahead and you draw a pen on any angle, all right? You know, don't have it straight out. That's a little bit too easy. Draw it on a bit of an angle with respect to a plain mirror. So use your ruler to draw this and then go ahead and measure and draw the solid and the dotted lines so that you can draw the image and don't forget to label the object and label the image all right once you've done that um, you can go ahead and give the salt characteristics for the image the size the attitude the location and the type so I'd ask you to pause the video here go ahead and do this take about five minutes or whatever and make your drawing and then come back to the video All right, well, if you were successful at that, and I hope that you were, we're going to move on to part two. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. So go ahead and get the little piece of paper that I gave you in class the other day. And if you've got your textbook there as well, we're going to look at how the eye sees an image. This is figure seven on page 491 in your textbook. And what we want to focus on is the object here, the image here, the mirror and the eye all right so what you will have on your diagram is a dot for the object the mirror and just an eye without the eyebrow and the rest of the stuff you don't you don't have the image so here is what you're going to do you're going to follow these steps choose one of the diagrams you've got to choose one of them all right using your small handout and you're going to do this all right you're going to use your ruler and you're going to draw a solid line from the object which is the dot to the mirror and you're going to measure that line right so you've got the mirror there you're going to go from the object perpendicular to the mirror and hit the mirror so this is going to be a solid line right here 
and you're going to measure that distance. Now, what I want to suggest that you do for step two, and by the way, these numbers correspond to the steps. So it's going to take you a bit of time to do each of these. So we'll do this, pause the video before you go on to the next page. So do step one and two. In step two, instead of drawing a solid line, I think it would be better if you draw a dashed line back here. So you're going to draw a dashed line of equal length to this solid line in front of the mirror. This dashed line is going to be an equal length. And let's say if this is two centimeters, this is two centimeters, and then you're going to draw the image, which is essentially what the object looks like, but the same distance behind the mirror. So go ahead and do that right now and then progress to the next page. All right, we're on the next page now. You've done step one and step two. We are getting ready to do step three. Now let me explain step three and then I'll read it out to you because this is might be a little bit confusing. It's not that hard once you've done it. You're going to you're going to go from the image and you're going to lay your ruler down on the page and you should be able to reach from where the image is to the top of the eye. Now you're going to choose the position where the top is. I mean, it's not going to be exact, but lay your ruler down and have it sort of form a line that would go from the image through the mirror right to the top of the eye. And then what you do is this. Use your ruler to draw a dotted line. So you see these are dotted already, so go ahead and do that towards the top of the eye. So you got your ruler down and you start drawing a line towards the top of the eye, but once you hit the mirror, continue that line but switch to a solid line and you go down to, towards the top of the eye. You're going to do the same thing from the image, like right from the center of the image, towards the bottom of the eye. So you lay your ruler down, you do a dotted line, it's going to hit the mirror, and then when it does, switch it to a solid line to go towards the bottom of the eye. Don't forget that you're also going to need to add arrows. So that's my next point on here to add arrows because the light is actually coming from the object. It's bouncing off the mirror and it's going into your eye, right? Light goes into your eye. So add these arrowheads here to show the, the direction of the light. So go ahead and do step three and four. Pause the video before going on to step five and six. On to step five. Now, this ray here, this top ray, step three, the one that goes into the top of the eye, what you do is exactly where it hit the mirror, where you switch to a solid line and continued it into the eye, you are now going to take this line or this, this point and you're going to draw a solid line back to the object. I know it seems like light is coming out of the object because of this ray, but these ones don't exist on your sheet yet, right? You've got this, you've got this, you've got this and this, and of course you've got the extensions in, in solid rays. You don't have these yet. So what you're going to do is for this top ray from step three, right from there, use your ruler and draw a solid line. I can't do it here. Right back to the object. And that's step five. Do the same thing for step four, where it hit the mirror, draw it back with your ruler for step six. All right, so that's what I've said right there. You're almost done. Now, make sure you add some arrows because light is really coming out of the object. It's hitting the mirror and it's going into the eye. This complex drawing shows how light comes from an object. Let's imagine this is a, a candle, all right? The light of a candle, if you are looking in a mirror, you can look and see that candle over there, right? But of course, the light doesn't come out of your eye. The light comes out of the candle, and what it really does is the light rays come, and they bounce off of the mirror. Remember, the angle of incidence, which would be right here, and the angle of reflection would be the same. The light will bounce off the mirror into your eye, but it looks like the image is right back here, 
right? So you look sort of straight into the mirror and it looks like the image is back there. It will be an equal distance behind the mirror because these are dotted rays. This is actually a virtual image, but we'll talk more about that later. All right, so you follow the steps and you can do this. Now, what I want you to do is to perform the exact same steps on the second diagram. Pause the video, go on and try the second diagram and see if you can get it to work following those exact same steps, solid lines, dotted lines, the correct measurements, all right, the arrowheads, etc. The final part for this video is making something called a retro reflector or using the concepts of a retro reflector and we're going to deal with this in later lessons. This is where the information comes from, from your textbook on page 486. This is called a retro reflector. You may not be able to see it very well. The instructions are given in the textbook. So I want you to perform the activity. You've all got your textbook, all right? You could be working with a partner. I don't mind that in discussing it, but each person is gonna do this in your notebook. So you'll need some note paper to draw on, a pencil, a ruler, and a protractor. And essentially what you're gonna be doing, as it says here in step one, is you are gonna be drawing two mirrors. So you're just gonna draw a line with a ruler, nice and straight, and another one to form sort of an L-shaped structure. They're meeting at a right angle, somewhere near the center of your paper, all right? And then you're going to use a ruler to draw a ray that strikes one of the mirrors. So I've drawn sort of an incident ray. It's gonna come in and it's gonna strike the mirror. I've drawn an arrowhead. Now, of course, there would be a normal line there you would need to do that. And essentially, you're gonna use the laws of reflection to determine the angle of incidence. So this angle is the angle of incidence. And knowing that, you are then gonna draw an angle of reflection with a reflected ray that's gonna come along and it's gonna hit the mirror like this, all right? So you'll have this angle of reflection right here, the same as the angle of incidence. It's gonna hit the second mirror and of course, you're then gonna to have to draw a normal there, and then it's gonna bounce off like that, something like that, so that the angle of incidence here, all right? And remember, this was the reflected ray, but because it's hitting another mirror, it starts to act as an incident ray for the second mirror. So that will be an angle of incidence, and then your final reflected ray will have an angle of reflection that's the same, and this is called a retro reflector, how, which has light bouncing around and bouncing around. So we'll talk more about that later. So I want you to draw one of those in your own notes, okay? So take care.